So probably the question I most get these days is what is the difference between a kit and a sum assembly required? Now there's basically the same amount of stuff here in our sum assembly required as there is here in our kit. However, over here, most of it has been put together for you. That's why it takes up so much more space. And by the way, space is why I had to go with this some assembly required stuff anyway. I was paying way too much to ship a box. So I had to basically make, somehow, man, make it so that uh, I could ship it in a smaller box. So what I want to do is what we have laid out here is a kit. And it's sort of laid out somewhat like it's shown in your kit assembly book, if you will. If we take a look at that book, or that page right there, and we put the parts right next to that page, this is what a kit is. Now, the important things to note about it that there's a lot of pieces associated with a kit. So your top and bottom, for example, have these four pieces that have to be attached to those two pieces. The doors and the drawers are already assembled for you. I actually also assembled these braces for you, but you do still need to attach these to the ends, which you still have to build. You have to attempt put the legs on the ends. Uh, there's some stuff you have to do here. There's, some, there's a whole lot of stuff you have to do here. And uh, then you have to put your shelves together as well. So this is actually a some assembly required. And some may look at this and say, well guys, there's still a lot of pieces there, Ken. Uh, but let me point out to you, there's only really two main tasks we have to do. We have to put the box together, and we have to put the stand together. And a lot of what you see here, there's not really anything you have to do to it. We look at these parts, these parts, these parts. And these parts. They're actually all done. Um, what will happen is once we get the box all put together, we'll take all those parts and put them in the box. So our real challenge boils down to this. We have these five parts over here that go together to form the main box. We have these five parts over here that go together to form the stand. And you'll notice I was nice enough to put drill holes so that you can assemble it with screws as opposed to having to do other things. I send you a bottle of glue with it, I send you a hardware pack with it, and it is critical that you glue everything together. The screws by themselves will not hold the box together. All the screws really do is they pull two pieces of wood together so that the glue squishes up into the pores of the wood and that's really what holds the box together. So I've kind of sped this whole thing up by a factor of three um, and that's really just to give you an idea of actually how easy it is to put one of these things together. Uh, you know, I'm starting off by putting uh, either the top or the bottom on. I'm not sure which that is, but uh, it's one of them, and this is the other one. And, uh, of course, again, I want to emphasize this. You do you would be gluing it together as well um, because the conditions we use them under, um, you know, just sort of demand that that be done. Uh, I am going to actually take this box apart uh, in fact, this particular box, I might actually finish it as well because that's one of the things I want to 
offer again to everybody is a finished box, but you know what? Um, it will also be a some assembly required. In other words, uh, when I do that, it's they're still going to have to go through this whole process here. The difference would be, though, that it's uh, stained and finished. And, and I'm sure at some point I'll get back to doing that. Uh, now I'm just pointing out that the holes there have to go up. We got a few end plates that we have to put on here. So really you see, uh, it's just no real challenge at all. Um, everything just kind of has to go together in a certain way and that's pretty much it. The other thing I want to point out is that on my customer service website, I, I have the full version of this video at regular speed. It's not, it's not sped up at all. And um, it, you know, I, I give various explanations as to why things have to be the way they have to be. So here I've um, sort of <clears throat> positioned everything the way it should be. I've got that one inch piece down on the bottom, for example. And, uh, you know, same same proposition here on the stand. We've got a few screws that go in. Looks like there's about four on each end. Uh, so we would put glue in, in there and then like this I'm going through the motion of putting the glue in but I'm not actually doing it but uh, you know you, you do that and then you put the four screws in now right here I I'm actually just demonstrating that you don't actually have to do it with a power driver you can just use a standard old run-of-the-mill number two Phillips screwdriver will work just fine so you can see I mean even if you were taking your time and uh, having a beverage of choice while you're doing this um, There's really not that much to it if it takes you more than I don't know 15 20 minutes to put one of these things together uh, You know you're you're just basically goofing off at the same time <laughs> and it's something pretty much anybody could do especially when you consider that I have a customer service website that pretty much holds your hands through the whole proposition of doing this and the other things you have to do the stain the finish and even laminate it if you want to now there are a couple of little I guess I just call them hidden screws underneath that we need to put in and what they're doing is it's sort of sucking that uh, little piece of plywood to that redwood on the top of the stand as you can see it makes a pretty solid arrangement that ends up being square and uh, you know everything it needs to be and once you once you've glued and screwed it together it's done you don't ever have to mess with any of this stuff again it's just a one-time deal now this toothbrush holder is a pretty really easy proposition toothbrushes don't weigh much so uh, you don't really have to do uh, a whole lot to them. I just stick a couple screws in it, one on either side. And then, uh, you know, we're gonna arrange it however you want to arrange it. I'm, I'm arranging this one the way I do my my own box. Uh, you can, your, your own equipment's gonna dictate exactly where these uh, little dowel rods go. And, and again, I have a video that explains this whole concept of finishing touches and that's just one of the things that uh, is addressed there is is how you arrange all of this stuff so as you can see that's your symbol some assembly required doesn't take a whole heck of a lot of work you still need to finish it um, you know you don't want to want this thing out there getting wet without it being finished uh, it has to be finished and uh, so you know, you still have some more work to do even once you get all this done. But it is an unfinished box. Um, at least this one is. And like I say, I probably will at some point offer finished products. I might even offer uh, designer again, which is really laminate on top. We don't need our tape anymore, so let's yank that off. And yes, you can still build any of our products from our $24.95 Blue Sky Kitchen Plans booklet. You can still get our designer booklet. Of course, the best value is when you get them both together. 
those get you into the customer service website and I do still offer up to a $24.95 uh, credit to the purchase of any product if you decide that uh, you want to upgrade to that sort of thing after the purchase. That all gets you in a customer service website. Hey, be sure to download this year's calendar and uh, make sure you go camping a lot.